First thing that you're going to see when you start a Windows 8 a PC is the start screen. The start screen is this personal mosaic of tiles. Every app on your system is represented by a tile. Now tiles are better than icons for a couple of reasons. They have a little more space for the app to show its personality. Like the weather app can just show you the temperature without you having to open it. We introduced a new platform based on standard web technologies, so HTML5 and JavaScript, and it allows millions of developers who know how to use those technologies to create a new kind of app for Windows 8. These apps are full screen, they're beautiful, uh, they are designed for touch, but of course they work great with, uh, with mouse and keyboard as well, that's what you have. We wanted to make it really fast and fluid to get between your running apps. You just take your thumb or your finger from the side and just swipe it in. As I do that, I run back through my list of, of running applications. Windows 8 also runs the existing Windows apps that you use and that you love. And they're just as easy to switch to, and you can use them alongside your new Windows 8 app. Because it's a PC, it has a file system. And that file system has your photos, it has your documents, it has your videos, it has your music. And you can get to these things not just from your existing Windows programs, but from these new Windows 8 apps. Uh, they can get to just as seamlessly as you've always expected in Windows. You can also get to files and photos that you have on other connected Windows PCs on your local network. You can do two things at once. We created a feature called Snap. I swipe in my thumb from the side of the screen, but now instead of moving it all the way into the center, I'm going to pause for a second and snap it into place over here next to your main app. I can choose uh, to change which app is big and which one is small. So with just one simple gesture, you can snap one app next to another app. Internet Explorer 10 has a touch-first UI for panning the page very fluidly with the finger, for switching tabs. Here you can see the, the touch keyboard. One of the things that we realized, though, when we were using it, was that typing requires you to reach all the way into the middle of the screen. And so we designed this thumbs layout, which is sort of more ergonomic, and it feels really natural to use. 